15 down. And it's always nice to win the first point. Well, that's one of the strengths, of course, of Todd Martin's uh, game is his serve. One of the best looking actions that you'll see. And that's because it's just a simply produced throwing motion of the racket. Not a lot can go wrong with it. That's Martin, uh, also like Edberg, likes to serve and volley. Particularly behind his big first serve, although he can rally quite well if needed to. Nice backhand winner to get past Edberg. And on the reverse angle, the return too short. It allowed Martin to just step forward and really lean into that two-hander. First serve. He seemed to be there in reasonable time for that forehand volley, but dragged it into the bottom of the net. Spoke of the service action of Todd Martin. Here it is. Well, using his full 1.98 metres as he stretches up, and as I said, a nice, easy swing. Good weight transference. And as good as you can do at this. You'd like a few more first serves in, though. Game one. Yeah. But he has held his opening serve. One up. First game. Love the ticket. So Stefan knows he has to be on his toes. Well, he didn't get that serve wide to the forehand to cut away sharply enough. Nearly two in a row. Just missed it. Service of Stefan, a little bit different to Martin's, isn't it, Alan? Yes, well, he throws the ball well over his left shoulder, and it's more of a spinning, kicking type serve, not the, quite the same speed. But it allows him to close into the net much faster, as we saw there. And the other advantage, of course, he has at the net as we watch him really accelerate in quickly there to put the ball away is he's a better mover at the net than Todd Martin.
That's here. Well, two forehand winners this game. Could have been a third, actually. One just missed. Look how Martin moves forward there so they can get the ball at the top of the bounce. Forty <laughs> Just a little bit of tension from Ed Burke. Miss hit a couple of shots in the opening game and uh, found the tape with that. He knows he's the favourite here. He's supposed to win. Advantage in Ed Burke. You'll see here the lack of mobility there of Todd Martin. He was pretty slow on the turn there to go back for that one. Wasn't too far away from him and he could just scramble the lob. So it's going to be pretty warm too, Alan, judging by the weather forecast. Mm. That won't bother the courier if he used to get there. Fifteen hundred. First ace of the match. Yeah. Well, against Todd Martin, though, as we watch that in replay, since the Open era began at the Australian Open in 1969, there's never been a champion here seated as high, or as low rather, as Martin's number nine. 13. The closest to his number nine was um, Brian Teacher, who was number eight. And he defeated Kim Warwick, who was seated 14, uh, 7, 5, 7, 6, 6, 3 in 1980. Kim Warwick had a shoulder injury, didn't mm. he? had to play two matches. Uh, he had to finish off a semi-final and beat uh, Guillermo Vilas. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the first time in the match that uh, Edberg has really got his timing on the ground strokes. There's that beautiful backhand hitting right through the line of flight. If I was Martin, I wouldn't rally too long with him because he's going to play Edberg's ground strokes into form. They've started off a little rusty. Thinking he's going to wrong foot Edberg, but you know Edberg uh, anticipated correctly there, hadn't moved. Hey! 
14. Well left by Martin. It's only the fourth time in his career that he's won five consecutive matches in a tournament, and that equals the longest winning streak of his career. First three games now going to Deuce. Well, he hit it well. Lovely, clean shot. Just went for a bit too much. First break point of the match. Deuce. He measured that one a bit better. Well, very sound serve there into the body. Edberg's only fended off, really. That presented a high, easy put away, really. Grand Junction, Colorado. Have you been there, Alan? Well, I've been to Colorado a few times, and it's a wonderful spot. I can't say I'm familiar with Grand Junction, though. That time he won't put it in. Advantage Martin. Concentrating on the forehand wing of Edberg's, which is not known as his best. You see the miss hit there. And that presented an easy forehand for Martin. Martin. Pace for the game, so Martin goes to a lead of two games to one in the first set. The previous game, which he did well. 1 2 Edward. 15. Mm, gee, that was a rather loose volley from Edberg. He almost hit it too early. He was there, so eager to put it away. Martin missed a similar one, didn't he? They put him down break point in the previous game. Here it is again. Also a forehand volley. Hit to the same spot. First double fault of the match. That end could give Edberg a few problems without some headgear in the next half hour or so. The position of the sun. I just think Edberg's just a little tight at this stage. Oh, that's so close. 
that was a lucky escape there for Edberg. Martin doesn't hit with a lot of topspin on the forehand. He hits it very powerfully and fairly flat. Just with a little bit more spin, that one would have dropped in. We've hit a couple of forehand winners already and missed with two others by a total of about three millimetres, I think. Perfect return right at his feet. He just jagged it out and was very lucky to get a dead net cord. Let's watch him as he moves forward. Right at his feet, just drags it up. Any way he could have won the point. Cords, both going to Stefan's advantage. Uh, Todd on the wrong end of the luck in the early stages of the match. Had it, mm, so did I actually. Just having a look at Mike Morrissey, the umpire, would have overruled already, and he thought the ball was good. Defensive lob there, Edberg's little slice smash drops a bit short, so in comes Martin. Lunge volley, now perfect shot selection here. He's expecting cross-court pass. Oh! Good kicking serve there, slowed down the first one, kicking it out high and wide. Effective on this surface. Fifteen. Yeah. Missing to the four, and it was a good tactic on the first serve. It just missed. Pete Sampras does that quite a lot too. Throws in a three-quarter pace top-spinning serve, particularly to the backhand court where the angle will also help push your opponent at wide. Still only 50% of first serves in. Nidberg would like a little more too at 57. Oh! 15 minutes. Well, he's going to have to watch that. That's twice this game on the second serve. Edberg has chipped and charged. Once he controls the net. Good night, nurse. Well, yep. Pretty hard to beat him from there. Got him again. Yes. Martin closing right on top of the net. Couldn't do enough of his volley. 15 
Watch how Martin, after slightly miss hits the first volley, closes right in. And then you can see can actually offer no attempt there. Another two break points to the former title holder for a lead of 3 2. Ball! Going for the slice serve wide there. Game end. That's got him. That's for Greg Edward leading 3 2. First serve. Left taken. Edberg second double. And from a receiver, that's him looking at the court. You can see how far it takes him wide on the uh, first court. With... So there's a good example of that slice serve. Edberg landing at a metre up the line and it just cut away so sharply that uh, Martin couldn't even react. Let's watch it here on the reverse angle. Lands a metre up and then just cuts away sharply. So mixing them up in this game. Two aces, two double faults to Edberg. And then consolidation apparent in his service break in the previous game. Well, I think Edberg thought he might have had the point here. He gets it angled and he covers down the line, but I think was surprised by the quality of that pass. Then he's got it now. And a lovely kicking serve there. You saw how it bounced high and wide, took Martin out of the court. And we'll see it on the net cam. And it just exposes the forehand court for an easy put away for Stefan, who leads 4 2. Uh, Martin to serve, the semi finalist in New South Wales. He has an 8 1 win loss ratio so far in 1994. And the five matches he's played here, he's lost two sets and has been on court a total of 12 hours 36 minutes. You can see he'll need to improve those service percentages. Warmed up now, Edberg, has yes. it? Well, once you get that vital opening break, it certainly lifts you. And we'll see here Edberg at his best. It's a beautiful flowing shot. On full run there, he's able to control that pass. Beautiful balance. I mentioned how long Todd Martin spent on court in the tournament so far. Edberg, of course, this year winning at Qatar. Has won 10 matches in 94. The five matches he's played here, he's dropped just one set. The least of any of the semi-finalists and been on court the least amount of time, 8 hours 51 minutes. Well, it's a risky shot, the drop volley. See from the low angle. 
Edberg's there in plenty of time. Fortunately, Martin anticipated the cross court, so he saved himself there. Such a fine backhand pass down the line. I was sure he was going to uh, go for that one. Let's watch it again. He's got plenty of time. He tries the little angle back across court. He's getting too fancy. <laughs> Game Martin. Martin. Martin game. Martin's game, but he's still down a break. Edberg, 4-3. 15. 13. Be happy with the top of the net today, uh, Stefan. You ought to take it home with you. <laughs> we watched both players in action, the return and then the lovely volley, but again, just clipping the tape. Fourteen. Taking so full advantage of the new balls. First love game with the match so far. Evo Beats, five games to four. So Todd Martin deserved to stay in the set. Players have had a win apiece. Martin won in the quarterfinals of the Tokyo Endor last year. 4-6-4. Hedberg in the Grand Slam Cup in the round of 16. Oh, that's quite tough. Love that ticket. Well, still one of the smoothest movers on a tennis court, Stefan Hedberg. Watch the split screen replay. The half volley pickup, and Hedberg had anticipated it. The short ball, and he was already moving forward. Came up with the winning angle. Fifteen. The only way you can combat the slice serve wide is to move forward to cut out the angle. Hedberg did it beautifully. Second serve now, 15.30. Thanks to time for Todd Martin. Set points as a result of that error. 15 14. Well, Good pressure tennis again from Edberg, chipping and moving forward, taking advantage of the slight lack of uh, mobility of Martin. A little slow sometimes to move to that low volley.
30 40. That's one save with a good first serve, but he's still just getting over 50% of his first serves in. Edberg doing better at 63, but when he does get his first serve in, Edberg winning the point 87% of the time. Thanks, J.O. <laughs> Love the team. Well, just about everything was good for Stefan in the first set including the net, a couple of lucky net cords that got him on the road. Once he got that break, it was very hard to stop. Won the title in 1985 and 87 at Kuyong on grass. The way he's playing here, he's got his eyes on his third title. Tony Pickard, uh, passive as ever, but I think deep down he'd be pretty impressed with this. That's what's the uh, footwork here of Edberg. Watch how he puts in a little skip step here to get the Brady position for the smash. There's a little skip step just to get the timing right. Perfectly done. Does he Good low return there from Martin. He really needs something to lift him. break in the opening game of the second would certainly do it. Come on, come on! I'm just thinking he hasn't been foot folded yet. And the first one comes in. Again, Edberg in quickly. He's forced to volley up, but again, he's such a good mover. Really turned quickly to get side on. Sometimes can miss a couple of overheads, so when he's smashing well as he is so far in this match, you know you're in trouble. Second time in the match that Edberg's been taken to Deuce. The previous time was the second game of the match. Come on! Mm, two in this game. Both and that one was costly because uh, Martin had netted the return. Martin. Martin. Oh, this might be the break that Martin needs. Shaken up by those two football calls and committing a double. First break point to him.
deuce. Well, he wanted to run around. I don't know why, because he hit two great backhand returns off second serves to that second court earlier in the game. I think if I was him, I'd have stayed with that tactic. Followed him, didn't it? Good crowd building up now. Stadium about seven eighths full. Deuce. The one he should have played on the game point. Surprising. Easy from up here, though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you haven't missed a ball all day, have you? No, I haven't missed one in years from here. <laughs> very flat hard return the volley has to come up he's got time and he really stayed down on that pass break point number two <laughs> Martin just having a look to see where he thought the serve may have landed but it was right on the line terrific serve there's no doubt and you can see there indicated by the replay right on the line Has, uh, made the price drop on Stefan. <laughs> the winner from Edberg off the first point. Backhand winner. That's Love 15 on Martin Serve. He trails Love 1 in the second set. Fifteen. Well, he's just got to get more out of his serve, Todd Martin. It's his major weapon, and he lost two serves in that first set. And if he's really going to threaten Edberg, it's got to be behind his big serving. So it hasn't been a factor for him yet. Thirteen fifteen. Aces to Todd Martin. Newberg has two.
14. Well, that was just a bit of hidden hope here from Edberg, and you never know at 30 all you could uh, bluff your opponent into missing, but Martin just had too much time there. Game on center. One game on Both players hold their opening serves of the second set. Stephen Edberg previously having to save two break points. First, he's been down in the match so far. demolished Thomas Muster the other night and Muster was in pretty good form because going into that match Alan Muster hadn't dropped a set. Well, this time good footwork there from uh, Martin. He said very tall, and he did well just to skip away and give himself room for that pass. Success. <laughs> Beautiful Quite a sharp return, and Edberg hit it within millimetres of the baseline. Testing up the Edberg forehand and Martin getting the desired result, the error. Annette, Stephen Edberg's wife. I was in the elevator coming up to the commentator in this match and she was there with their little baby in a pram who's not courtside obviously so it must be in the uh, too hot out there for a baby the kindergarten yeah. area 13 mm. so for the second successive service game Stefan has to fight off a break point four double fox against his name now
Oh, good eye. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to play those sort of high ones on the forehand volley either on a big pointer. Not that easy to put away. Let's have a look at Edberg. Got the racket there ready and just withdraws it. Looks round anxiously. <laughs> Three break points he saved in this set. Right, You've got to try to keep the ball away from the backhand volley of Edberg. We've seen that sort of point how many times in a match? Mm. First serve in, quickly into the net, backhand volley away. Coming up with some excellent two-handers. Notice hardly any backswing there. Really jolting that one straight down the line. Oh, the forehand this time. So fourth break point this set. You notice the serve to the forehand, it doesn't go away. Didn't uh, Martin really didn't have to move his feet? Game oh, awesome. Backhand volley is netted, so Martin breaks for the first time in the match 2 1. Martin leads two games to one. Love 15. that break of serve last game but needs to really consolidate here Yeah. Perhaps an indication of the changing fortunes of the match. They all went Edberg's way in the first set. They did. He just rolled the net up and took it home. That's number four for Todd Martin. Oh! I think the lights were nearly choked when he gave that call. <laughs> Game on something. Second half of the game. Martin Leeds, 
go down to uh, John Barrett now. John. Yes, thank you, Peter. I'm with Robert Van Hoff, who is Todd Martin's coach. A big ordeal this first time on the centre court, isn't it? Yeah, it is. First time this, uh, this tournament. But he's playing well. <laughs> he certainly is playing well. How long have you been coaching? Love well, to I travel with them for about five weeks or so, and we got to know each other. And um, this week we're in. This year we're going to travel for maybe 20, 25 weeks. What was his attitude before coming onto court today? I think he was pretty loose today. He, you know, he doesn't have anything to lose really against Edward, and um, he was a lot more nervous uh, last match against Mel Washington. He has everything to lose against a fellow American. And what was his game plan today? Well, I think he wanted to uh, return well and uh, put some pressure on Stefan on his, on his own serve. Serve well, of course, and see if he can hold serve. He's actually been he's returning good. very well indeed. Yeah, he's, uh, he's returning well. He lost it twice in the first set. That's the loss in the first set. But uh, he's been returning well, so if he, if he can get his service games, he'll be, he'll be all right. Four! Of course, this is the first time he's been in a Grand Slam semi-final, so was he excited about that prospect? No, I think so. Yeah, very much so. Question for good people. That's us. Thank you, Quiet Place. 15. 15, oh, 30. Mm. What sort of a person is Todd off court? Oh, he's very, very easy going and uh, very casual, actually. You know, he's got a, got a good personality and a uh, very smart guy, so he's very easy to travel with. Well, let's wish you the best of luck today and uh, for the rest of the season. Okay, thanks. Oh! Robert Vantoff. Who used to play with a rather unusual grip on his racket arm. He had a, a, a strap on a the base of it, yes. didn't he, that would wrap around like his wrist. Like a squash wrist. racket. Yeah. Well, he said he wanted to return well, and as John pointed out, he is returning well. 15, 14. A slashing game from him here, and two points now for a double break. So Edberg on trouble and serve every game. This set saved two break points in the first game, dropped in the third, and could do the same here. 13 points. You can see the second set service percentage is uh, very, very low for Stefan. It's allowing Martin to have a real crack at the second serve. As we've said, he's got a big game. He can do some damage. Oh, game game one set. Set. A double fox on great point, and Martin's won four games in a row to lead four one set. Deserted him, he hopes, momentarily. Fifteen.
15,000. That's his first double fault. Berg serves six four of which have come in this second set. I think through the air he thought it was going to land out because as you'll see here he doesn't really make much of an effort to go over and cover it well thought it maybe caught the edge no overrule from Mike Morrissey so he agrees and Edberg with an opportunity to get one of the breaks back Game from Martin. <laughs> and he's starting to pick up those service returns, that. Love 15. Again, even into the body there, he just shortens the backswing, just leans away from that and hammers it down the line. how they handle this point the return short ball in comes the slice Edberg a big looping top spin lob perfectly close 15 minutes but that's that volley so a possible chance for once again Martin to break has been a real feature hasn't it yes well as i said he hits the ball flat and hard and if he gets his confidence i mean just hits winners not a percentage returner of just trying to get the ball back and force a high volley Ow! You see there just missed it there's, there's no attempt to make ed bird volley he was just going for the winner can be dangerous to scramble his way out of trouble here could have hit it but wisely electing it to go long
advantage in the third. Slightly mistimed that high volley, and he gets another opportunity. Same shot. But Martin's got a guard against, particularly in this game. He's had two breaks. He's still got the one. He's got to keep Edberg from attacking the net. And always in control in this rally. His shots were deeper, more penetrating. Edberg finally only able to just spoon that one up. Well, having to do it the hard way, though, allows Eggberg to get in. Not a lot on the approach shot, but he was putting the pressure on, had to volley up there, and that is a good pass because he had to move to get into position. Closing it up with that forehand winner. Well, he's always going to win a forehand duel with Edberg. He's got much more penetration off that side. Edberg, the set, has struggled on serve. Oh. 15. Every game, he's been down break point or break points. He's broken twice. Thirteen. <laughs> 
14. T-15. Ninth forehand winner. And he just can't drop it short like Stefan does there. Leaned back, had it on the back foot, and it just popped it up mid-court. As I said, Martin hits much flatter his forehand, so he can get the pace. Seven doubles to Stefan. Started at 40 love, now it's Deuce. Getting very confident on that forehand side. Advantage at the back. I understand on the instructions of Edberg called Todd Schneider, the trainer. I'm not quite sure what for. I find out at the next break. For it didn't get it. Edberg holds. Martin will serve for the second set. Yeah, the match it has set all. Alan, you well, something like that? It seemed to be in front of uh, his knee, but it seems to be moving OK. I guess he's just feeling some uh, discomfort. Not enough to really affect his movement, but enough to uh, sort of prey on his mind that there's a nagging problem there. What? Oh. I mean, a lot of players do play matches with little niggling uh, injuries. Coming in on his second serve, he's serving for the set here. He's got to be positive, got to go out and win it, not just hope Edberg will give it to him. comeback by Edberg if he can win this set because he was down two breaks at 4-1. Yeah, well, he'd be 
Big chip and charge on the second serve. Recognising that he's a little bit inexperienced, this is his first Grand Slam semi final. Edberg took advantage of it. <laughs> he's won four of the past five games, a good comeback. <laughs> Just have a look at that. Points one at net, 15 to 3. Expect that number from Edberg, but I thought it'd be higher for Martin. Fifteen on You <laughs> can't believe it. <laughs> Favourite shot, a foot from the net. <laughs> Let's have a look how close he does get here on net cam. Right on top of it. away that volley. Did a good shot there on net cam of how his knees are bent. He comes in, does a split step, bends the knees, just like shock absorbers. A car. Shots fast got a noble top mark. He did two breaks of serve on Edberg earlier in the set. He's trying to give us some terrific service returns, just like that. Leave you to it, John. Game, uh, from Martin's viewpoint to go into the tie break. 
He needed it. that one the previous game, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> well, I guess he did that. Didn't want to pull up suddenly on that suspect knee. Mm. Zero. Already a mini break in the tie break. Just having a little skip there, Edberg. Doesn't seem to be limping. No, just the speed of that return beat him. Slicing it down the centre. Good disguise there. Perfectly placed uh, approach shot. Edberg not going for power there, just placement again with the smash. Oh, that's it. Nearly got it. Edberg was gone if that went over. Excellent return there, right at the feet. It's been the feature of his play, some of his scintillating returns. A chance to consolidate. He just got a little front on there on that shot. And the ball. Four, three. Nice. Well, he could sense that Edberg was going to chip and charge, so. Pretty reliable off the backhand side, so wisely he came in the forehand to try it off. Yeah, Berg misjudged it. Strikes were hit sharply by Martin. It was Edberg volley at its best. Well, he can serve it out here. Needs two of his big serves. No certainty to do it. 56% of first serves in for Todd. Stephen, 54. They'd both like those to be up a bit.
Is that destructive? Well, I think he really should have been a bit more positive and served volleyed on the second ball there. I think he would have expected that chip charge from Eckbert. He's been doing it enough, hasn't he? Mm. So whoever wins this point has set point. Six five, Marcel. Todd Martin has that honour, but Stefan Edberg has the serve. Saving that set point. Not a bad return, hit firmly, but a lovely volley out in front. And Martin just can't control that forehand. He's certainly playing well enough to win a set. And I think if he looks back on the match, he'll rue those two breaks he had for the 4 1 lead. And Burke clawed his way back into the match or into the set. 6 all. Six. 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 Just a fine return though, his serve wasn't too bad. Martin's come up with some great two-handers, just shortens the backswing and really uh, hits it solidly out in front. On his own serve this time. Progressing there, he didn't really need to take that risk of going for a clean winner. Let's watch it here. Good second serve, decides to stay at the baseline. And just a straightforward shot, which he tries to really kill. Set point in this tie break for Todd Martin. Two of which have been on Edberg's serve. On Martin's set point, he didn't get the first serve in. Let's see what Stefan can do. Game oh, seven, no. set pass is in. Seven games to six. Good effort of Todd Martin to take that set out actually, Peter, because he had 4-1 and two breaks and to come back from the disappointment of having to then be in a tie break to win it and have several set points, so uh, he did well. Yes, he concentrated well, did it the hard way. Oh! 4-1, it looked like a 5-2 sort of set to him.
Jaden Marshall. Well, confidence start to Martin in the first the half. One like six. Six. Just been a good shot for him. 13 15. How much that knee is troubling him. So the reverse angle, just angling that one away. Oh! Game end. Yeah. He's going to the chair. Changing rackets, yes. Just getting a new restring. With uh, Sharp Ucam again, John Barrett, who will be found this time. Well, I'm now with John Parsons of the London Daily Telegraph. John, who's going to win this one? Well, Stefan's let it slip, but I think he's going to get back into it. I think one of the reasons is that in a match like this, Martin's lack of experience at this level in this sort of competition might finally tell. And the final, the final match today, that's Courier Sam. I think Courier. Courier, to me, looks so much back into where he was last year. And on Sunday? I think he'll win that too because I think he's so mentally strong. So that's Courier from John Parsons. Thank you, John. John and John, thank you. 15, love. Oh! 15. Oh. Frustration there for Edberg. Uh, over hitting just ever so slightly those two returns. Game one. So the game was made on serve in the third set. Martin two one. Martin leads two games to one. Love on Edberg's serve in the third set. He 
trials one two of course we speak of his knee injury we don't know how severe it is but of course he was forced to forfeit wasn't he alan a few years ago to lendl in a final mm. 1990 i think 15. so if he does win through we hope he's 100 percent i'm sure todd martin has noticed so uh, the trainer was called to lendl during a couple of changeovers Self-defence here really on the return of serve and ended up not being too bad a shot, a high lob into the sun. Hedberg handled it. This becomes a key set for Edberg. Uh, Pete, as we've said, if he has slight knee problems, he wouldn't want to have to go to five sets, would he? The longer out there, the more problem uh, is likely to develop. And he lost one set in the tournament prior to today's match. First set. Of course, prior to today, Edberg had spent the least time of any of the semi-finalists getting to uh, the stage of the tournament, just under nine hours on court. We can have a bit of time out there today, though, because the match has nearly been in progress two hours. Forehand, let's watch it. The surf doesn't go wide enough. Martin then he has to just turn the shoulders and hit through the line of flight. Got a break point. Deuce. Tried the range with the forehand on that occasion. Juice. <laughs> Good cramp for room on the volley there. Well, again, that flat forehand's coming at him pretty quickly. And over the years, his serve has uh, lost a bit of its uh, punch. Watch it here as he moves forward. Just has to play it rather awkwardly and couldn't quite clear the tape. Oh. Did hit his wrist there? I think he's okay. If he sits down there too long, he'll have a very warm rear end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does get hot. 
of a mid-court volley and a desperate lunge there by uh, Martin. Signifying that the signal there that he's okay. Not quite ready. Sharp view cam with the ubiquitous John Barrett. Who have you got? Well, I've got Bruce Matthews with me now, uh, Peter, of the Melbourne Herald Sun. Bruce, are you going to stick your neck out and give me a fearless forecast here? Um, I think I'll stick with Stefan, John, but it's a bit of a concern, a niggling knee injury, but uh, I think he's a great fighter, and I just wonder about uh, Todd Martin's hard matches in the heat over the last couple of matches. And the next one, Courier Sampras? Well, I went for uh, Courier at the start of the tournament, and I think I'll stick with him at this stage. And for Sunday? Um, well, uh, once again, obviously, Korea, I would have to stay with her. I picked him before the tournament starts, so there's no reason to jump off now. Well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. 15 minutes. Matthews, Frank Vardeniger, all of him in the background. Bruce known as uh, Nara. A pretty good judge of form, too. We'll see what happens. Two all thirds in. On the low angle, as he shapes up as if he's going to push it down to the forehand corner and then just angles it back the other way. Racket head control there. that uh, Stefan wasn't happy with the call on the serve then, but uh, I think it's a little indicative of what's happening. Todd Martin is beautifully calm. He's maintained his composure 100% throughout this match. Stefan is tightening up. Yeah. And when he tightens up, he loses his rhythm and see exactly what's happening. Serving down 2-3 in the third. Interesting the box pops of the media core downstairs. Which way this match might progress. Fifteen. Side for Edberg. Just asking the umpire whether he perhaps heard a let. Mike Morrissey answering in the negative. Edberg won just the one title at Madrid last year. Unusually, it was on clay, not his favourite surface. to have the situation well under control here, Todd Martin. That's about the only ball he wouldn't have been able to reach. <laughs> Edberg 
Charlie Newton got to try reaching for that one. 14, 15, 10. And the feature of his play today has been his return of serve, particularly early in that second set. Well, again, serve, that one was a little bit wider than some of the others, but Martin was ready for it. Really moved very quickly across and forward. Game in the Three games, Three games remaining on serve in the third set. Three games have gone pretty quickly, apart from the fourth, where Stefan had to save a break point, the only one of the set so far. Todd Martin has conceded just one point in three service games from him. In this third set, you can see that's pretty impressive for uh, Martin. Taking the net and taking the points. You never uh, count him out, can you, Pete? Okay. Stefan Edberg. Just the pattern of the match is swinging towards Martin, and uh, but you can never count this man out. tactic was sound the placement wasn't quite as good you see they're pretty much straight to the forehand and Martin's now confident on that wing 15th forehand winner This is the time for him to really be positive. He's playing well. He's got Berg certainly worried. Out there for not rushing the net. He thought about it on a couple of occasions, hesitated. See, telling himself to go forward there into the shot. Let's watch it here. Thought about it there. No, stay back. He's, two years ago, he would have gone in there. And then you see he's beaten by a better place drive. Well, Martin down a great point for the first time in the third set. So serve been letting him down this game. Yes, Edberg gets the 
break, 4-3 in the third. Oh, oh, Fifteen. Just allowing Stefan Edberg to take the initiative away from him on his serve in that previous game. He'd served three brilliant games before that in this set and dropped just the one point. His first serve went off a bit. Edberg took advantage. angle again Martin stepping into that fairly short second serve Smashed well, actually, as we said earlier. He sometimes can be a little shaky on the uh, overhead. Let's watch him here on net cam. You'll see the ball gets behind him a little. That's what caused the ball to be hit near the throat. And looking right into the sun, too, probably yeah. helped. Or didn't help. Yes, sir. Good solid game from Edberg after getting the break in the previous game. of tennis. Yes. Well, Stefan's seen quite a few of these go past him. Doesn't get that serve to cut away to the forehand, he's in trouble. No. Fault at 40-15 was the start of the problems. Since then, though, it's been two great returns. That's that forehand wing. Such a long reach, of course, 1.98 metres tall, so he sticks the racket out, he covers a bit of territory. Pretty pumped up about that. And as pumped up as he gets, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Running back to get the towel, so 
Well, I think a knee injury is not as serious as uh, we might have thought. I don't know, but I think that's why sometimes he doesn't want to pull up suddenly. So if he's following through, he allows just to take a few extra steps to stop any jarring effect maybe on the knee. Again, the good reach there enabling Martin to come up with a lovely clean pass off the forehand. Might see Stefan serve a few more into the body. Correction, oh. Morrissey. Advantage, Headbutt. Oh, Mike Morrissey overruled. And I think correctly. Let's watch it on the low angle here. I think you'll see that that ball caught right on the line. Martin had no play on it, therefore the umpire judges it an ace. Five aces. attack the net a little more. Mightn't be his favourite place, but he's got to stop Edberg from getting there. Tired, Tony. Playing every point himself. <laughs> Just as tough out there. And that's 5-4 for the Pierces too. Own medicine here with a forehand return to serve winner. serving for the set. Oh, yeah. 
get a break back, he must win one of the first two points. And this time a little bit better footwork from Martin when he's wrong foot, a bit quicker there to turn. good but Martin there plenty of time for the pass and he's really putting the pressure on Edberg to serve it out here from Edberg. As I said, it's not quite the serve it was three years ago. Next match, of course, the second semi-final of the men's singles, the four Australian Open, the number one and the number three seeds. An All-American affair, Sampras and Courier. Next on Seven Sport. Pete, right. let's see if what we think. Yeah, I think That's Stefan wide. was right. Mm. It was wide. That one was pretty good. Oh, is he on a streak? Four clean ground stroke winners, now two aces. Two aces. That's six winners in a succession. Not the only shot he hadn't played in the last <laughs> game and a half. Dead net court, yeah. <laughs> game points for Martin to go to a lead of 6-5. Redberg had served for the third set and was broken to love. Slow to uh, recover there and acknowledging uh, the fine shot. He's a great sportsman, Todd Martin. I must say, in Sydney, when we saw him play there, he was uh, very sporting. He was semi finalist up there in New South Wales. Come on! Yeah. Game one, second. 
And he has held serve uh, 6 5. Martin, third set. Martin leads 6 game. Stefan Edberg to take it to the tie break. Lovely take. Well, he can't believe he missed it, but I think he wanted to put a little bit more on that volley. He was thinking about that last game where he was passed four times, so I'm trying to put a little bit more heat on the volley, he netted it. going for his fourth game in a row. Well, again, you see no trouble coming up with a penetrating return. Really got some confidence now on the passing shots, forcing Edberg to have to volley up all the time. 15 minutes. Set point. A good pressure volley there, though, by Edberg. He could easily have missed that one. And just hanging on here. match as we watch the great bowling skills there of Edberg. It was a low one. He cut it close to the tape. But they're seeing some great shot making, the great passing shots of uh, Martin and the pressure volleying of Edberg. Stretch Edberg knowing he only had to just get his racket onto the ball anywhere over the net would have won the point. Second tie break of the match, Todd, what, uh, Todd Martin won the previous one. just tried to push it there rather than really hit it as he has been doing. A mini break already to Edberg. <laughs> the line judge that adjudicated that, but he'd have had trouble picking up that return. That's called good. Yes, right on it. 
That was awkward. He wanted to hit a backhand, so it came in rather tight into his left hip. Let's have a look at this again into the left hip, and he just hammers it, that off backhand. He'd want to be a linesman. Trying to force his way to the net, and Martin trying to pass him. He's done it successfully uh, on a lot of occasions. Ah, beautiful net play from Edgar. Hard to see him losing the tie break from here. Through the supporters finding voice, they've been a little quiet today. Oh, again, the backhand volley saving Edberg. serve goes the tie break again and see where that second serve landed right on the forehand right in the hitting area there for Todd Martin didn't have to move just shoulder turn there was the ball land ball here for Todd Martin service winner on the forehand which he <laughs> did Second, third set rather from Martin. 5-3 down. Now 4-2 down. 4-all in the tie break. Yes, Edberg hasn't won a point since they changed ends. And that still holds. Five, four, Martin not showing any signs of tightening up in this uh, all-important third set. exhibition of return of serve here in this third set, particularly from the 5-3 down situation. Thank you. Four oh, points in a row. He's won. Six. 
Martin. Gee, you had to come up with some good volleys there to win it too, didn't he? <laughs> it's again very sharp hit shots here from uh, Martin going all out. Quiet place. Yes. Thank you, you might like that. I'd like that little bit of fancy stuff from Stefan behind the back. That's the way he plays, isn't it? He goes yeah. for his shots all the time. And he was close to the net, so it required a little bit more topspin to get it up and over the net and then down. So a real let off. Mm. I'll say, six all. I guess that's where we'd have to say. I mentioned that he'd been handling the tension well until they accept. that caused him to miss that easy forehand. He certainly has regrouped because that was a clever shot, pressure shot under a tight situation. And that time the miss hit not landing in court. Seven. So he's had three set points. Well, if he loses this match, he'll remember that forehand. with that forehand return. Edberg just doesn't get the serve as wide as he used to. And as we said, Martin's 1.98 metres tall, so he's got a long reach. Fourth set point to him for a lead of two sets to one over the man who won this title in 85 and 87. Oh! On the centre line, but just too long. just waiting for some patrons to be seated. He trails two sets to one, having lost the previous two sets in tie breaks, nine points to seven on both occasions. The match in progress, two hours, 48 minutes. I guess appropriately, he opened for the forehand winner. And that served just 153 Ks. The third set went an hour and three minutes, the second an hour and six, the first one was fairly quick by those standards, 37 minutes.
when he misses a volley like that. Sweden supporters trying to spur their idol on. Advantage at the to serve volley pretty much behind all serves and he's had to try to pick up shots like that for the majority of the match particularly after the first set oh, gee that looked good times when Martin's had a good crack at a forehand that he hasn't put away. Tried a little topspin roll across court there. I think he's better off going for his hard, flatter one. Well, that was just a terrific return. Beautifully angled back. What's this again? Well, he's usually two-handed backhand, but there, notice he takes the left hand off and shows us that he's got a fine chip backhand as well, if necessary. Nothing on them, and Edberg didn't really have that many problems running them down. That's right, they're just trying for everything. They're just lunge volleys there. 
Todd says, come on, see if you can get that one. <laughs> Good naturedly. He's leading two sets to one, it does help. Scurrying back. <laughs> I'm just trying to exploit Martin's uh, lack of mobility, the drop shot and then the lob, and also testing his fitness. Been out there nearly three hours. But not too hot today, just perfect. Take your take Certainly Stefan's longest match at the tournament. Not a bad way to uh, bring it up on a second serve. It shows you the confidence that he's got. Oh, and another one. Two for the game. Hit. One game. Hit. Thanks, Warren. Well, that's interesting because my daughter's a telephonist here, and uh, when Goran's playing, she gets lots of calls in the phone room from Croatian saying that Goran is swearing in Croatian. Mm. Oh. You can't get away with it all the time, can you? No. That's it. goes cross court with his forehand as we watch on the reverse angle he doesn't quite have a lot of stick on the ball enough pace and Martin can get there and then return the angle and his shot's got more pace on it Up 
Well, it's been just a great shot, a match-winning shot, one could almost say. That's if he wins the match. It has been the shot of the match, hasn't it? Well, look at that. 28 clean winners off the forehand. Game over. Yeah. Red being hard serve. 2-1 he leads in the fourth set. Red leads. Two games to the Fourth game of the fourth set. Second serve from Martin. He trails 1-2 but leads two sets to one. Ow! 15 wins. Well, he's been in some marathon struggles before, Stefan Edberg. Can you see him getting back here, Alan? Yes, he's uh, played many, many uh, five-set matches. He's experienced in semi-finals and Grand Slam matches, so I certainly wouldn't count him out. And this is new territory for uh, Todd Martin. Never been here before. Oh! Three hours and three minutes. Match in progress. We've got quite a bit left, too. Oh! Edberg just looking at the line. I thought that could have been a... Could have been a double, did he think? Well, it looked OK. Mm. It did. Good first volley. You can as we go downstairs to John Barrett. Well, people have returned now to the coaches' area. Well, in fact, with Robert Van Hoff, you said, Robert, when you started to the area, that you felt the match might depend upon the way Edberg served and the way Todd returned that serve. Well, Todd's returning very well. I think that's what's keeping him in this match. He, um, after he lost his serve, I think maybe four times or so, but he's returning so well, he's given Stefan a lot of problems. three hours and five minutes already how is Todd over the long haul he's not too bad um, he's played a lot of five setters uh, long five setters luckily the weather is not that hot today like it was uh, early on in the week so I think it'll be too okay so he's recovered from those two great matches well the particular one against Dauphin right right no I think he's fine uh, he seems to be uh, pretty loose out here and playing well what does he do when he has those draining matches how do you get the fluids back and uh, get his recovery. Well, Todd, uh, the trainer takes care of that and I'm, I'm sure they have um, some sort of supplements or so that they tell him to uh, 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 eat and drink and um, take care of himself. And is he going to be confident in the latter stages of a match as important as this, the prospect of a first Grand Slam final? Well, I don't think anybody will really get nervous no matter who you are, so... Uh, but like I said, if he's, you know, he seems to be playing well out here and having fun, so I think uh, if things go his way, he'll be able to close it out. Thank you, Robert, and good luck. Robert Ventoff, speaking with John Barrett. Martin who comes to the net. I've been surprised he hasn't come in a little bit more often because you can see he's got great volleying skills. He seems to be coming in a little more. 
this is. That's his confidence growing after taking the two sets to one lead. Tony Pickard, the other coach, watches interestedly. A great volley, isn't it? Oh. Mm. Ten doubles now to Stefan Edberg. Well, Robert Bantoff was right, and his return of serve has been exceptional today. Yes. That could be a contributing factor to those 10 doubles because uh, whenever he's facing the second serve of Stefan Edberg, this runs the first serve, but he's been able to put pressure on the second serve by the way he is returning. Well, Stefan did well to pick up the net cord, but left him vulnerable. And Martin has the first break point of the fourth set. Watch Stefan here on net cam. He heard the ball clip the tape. He did well. Couldn't pick up the second one though. Oh, gee, that was a serve. On break point, you wouldn't get better. Jeez. I'm happy. I'm happy to see the ball coming on that reliable backhand volley. So, of course, uh, very heavily in favour of Edberg, but he's been attacking the net far the greater of the two players. Footfault call. It's about the fourth time. That's too good. Second break point of the fifth game of the fourth set. Edberg footfaulted again. Let's watch it, see what happens. Well, he's been bringing the right foot up. There it is, yeah. there, you see, just touching the line. Mm, now a second serve on break point. Superb low volley under intense pressure, wasn't it? That's it right. Jeez. On break point two, the second of the game. Well, Martin couldn't have hit a better return. Hard and low. And Edberg just lunging. Todd's really had everything this semi-final. Yes, but the second one's as good, and on paper it looks better. What a day. Advantage, Advantage Martin. Martin. Well, this has been a terrific match. There's a lot left in it yet. Well, just, as I said, pressing a little with the second serve because he's just been so worried by the returning of his opponent today. 11 double faults to one. Terrific serve from both points. Yes, great placement there.
advantage, Martin. Break point number four. And again, Edberg under pressure has to volley up. And Martin showing us with his great power, forehand or backhand. When he's got the time, he can really do some damage with those passing shots. Second serve. Yes, not giving Martin room to swing there. It's a real rear guard action being fought by Edberg. Four break points he saved in this fifth game. Down two sets to one. First set. Sort of get the feeling here, Nacho, that this just one game couldn't even decide the match. Well, that's a key one, that's mm. for sure. It's just hanging on in this match, Edberg. Trails two sets to one. If it's two sets and a break, it'll be 3 2 Martin. And you'd sort of almost think that perhaps he could serve it out from there. returning from uh, Martin. Robert Vanthoff there did mention that when he was talking to John Barrett. But it's easy to string together one or two great returns, but he's doing it with uh, great consistency. that one only 126 yes a lot of spin a lot of slice advantage and a double so 12 doubles and the fifth break point in this fifth game to Martin I think he'd be pretty worried Tony Pickard even more worried if he drops this game two sets and a break it's to one at a break, I should say. You can bet Edberg will get a low volley here to play. <laughs> well, what a oh. superior second serve. One of the best ones he's hit in the match. Deuce. That's what Martin was trying for it. Couldn't control it. Terrific second ball. Watch it here. Had kicks high and wide. Martin can't get it back low as he was hoping. Advantage at the the longest game of the match. Game in, 
got some determination to come through there. Edberg, 3-2 in the fourth. Edberg leads three games to two. Todd Martin wins here. He will certainly remember his first match on the centre court at Flinders Park. As Robert Bantoff pointed out, he hasn't played in here yet. His matches have been scheduled for outside, courts one and two. Not there you get though. Edberg attacking whenever he can. Find placement there on the forehand to allow him that opportunity for the volley. That's it. That's it. Chip and charge Edberg just overhitting the approach. Game three all in the fourth. John Alexander, are you enjoying this? Yes, I am. Like all. you and Alan, I see this as a great match. You simply couldn't ask anything more of either player. So great tennis, incredible guts. Both players very, very determined. And I'll remind you before Gary Wilkinson uh, does that he picked Todd Martin to win the tournament. I can tell you, John, that Gary's standing at the back of me with a very smug look on his face. And rightly so. <laughs> Fifteen all. Fifteen all. Edberg serve. Games on service. Oh. 
That's pretty low there, right? Yes, percentage of first serves is, is down in this fourth set. Well, they're you know, feeling the pressure a little, that's for sure. And Martin, of course, is returning so well. 13-15. I do believe that Edberg's serve is not quite the serve that it, uh, that it used to be when he was number one player in the world. I was going to say, it would be fair to say that on this surface it doesn't have the venom that it has on grass. No, no, it's lost a, uh, a kilometre or two. And his wide one is not quite as good either as it used to be. Yes. Mm. Good example there, those last two That's points. Edward got good. the first serve in, but was passed on the first one outright here no trouble to return it low at his feet he has to half volley up and Martin uh, demonstrating that he's a pretty cool customer when it comes to passing shots he had five points to break in the fifth game he's got another one here Set a lead of four games to three. Four. Todd Martin with a lead of four three and a lead of two sets to one over former dual champion Stefan Edberg. Second serve now in the eighth game. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, This has been an outstanding performance from Todd Martin, as we said. First time for him in a Grand Slam semi-final. He dropped the first set 6-3, but won two, two sets in tie breaks. And now with a break in the fourth, could be looking at his first final. Both of those tie break scores, nine points to seven. The previous set tie break, he was down 4-2 on the change of ends. But really turned it around. Well, the crowd uh, trying to urge Edberg on. Fine chip here. They've always enjoyed his uh, tennis at the Australian Open. They'd love to see him uh, fight back and take it to a fifth. I don't think the fat lady <laughs> to clear her tonsils <laughs> just yet. Oh! 13-15. Well, the thing is that he has beaten Edberg before. I think it'd be a bit different if he'd never had a win over him, but they played twice towards the end of last year for one all, so he knows he can actually win the match. 14-15. That was in Tokyo when he was runner-up in the tournament there. He beat Yarab, Korda, Edberg and Rosetsky before losing to Ivan Lendl in the final. Dual champion now he has to hold serve to stay Martin in the match of the tournament. Five games to three. And the way uh, Martin's returning, I don't think he's any good thing to hold serve, actually. Been under a lot of pressure on a lot of his service games in the Thank past you. couple of sets. Quite Quite like us. Fifteen. <laughs> up with his sixth ace to open serve. He 
and we go back to that 10th game of the previous set where Martin clubbed four clean winners to break to love. And wife of Stefan and her dead boo, she'd be a bit worried at the moment too. Thirteen. Can he hold serve to love? He's only done it once before on the match. That was late in the first set. The eighth guy. Oh! <laughs> it wins it with a backhand volley, but Todd Martin will serve for the set and the match when we return. second serve there because he knew Edberg would chip and charge off the backhand, a very reliable shot, so served to the forehand and drew the error. That's the <laughs> Match in progress, three hours and 35 minutes. The two women's semi-finals yesterday collectively took two hours and ten minutes. Attacking to the last. of the line it was just one here on the tennis ball oh, oh gutsy tennis from Edberg crowd responding two break back points Edberg really to uh, set the scene for the rest of that game by 
taking all the risks, coming in, putting it up to Martin to pass him if he wanted to win the match, and he just couldn't do it. Like this. Thank you. Five all, new balls. Disbelief of that forehand again from Martin. That's been the shot of the match. His forehand and the forehand return of serve. That was a good serve. And he gives him a forehand volley and draws the error. Love that second. Second. Edberg getting the first serves in, jogging up and down, trying to get himself movement going, but it's been the quality of the returns. Martin has stood firm just on the baseline and taken the ball as early as possible. Still, he'd be feeling a little bit better than one game ago. That's right. <laughs> he would have just been going out to make the plane bookings, I think. That's <laughs> 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 I don't think he should either. That's what's got him into a winning position. Those great returns. Made so many forehand and backhand winners off the return. And going for that one again, which would have given him another break point. Just missed. serve to take this fourth set to the tie break. He served for the match in the tenth game but was broken. Oh. A little bit of extra bounce there caused him to lose control of that. Edberg in these last few games showing us really why he's been one of the great players in the modern era. Stefan Edberg. He's had some entertaining matches down there, hasn't he? that Edberg was moving in behind that little return. Game on the It's a tie break. Well, 
The old Dale Stephan Edberg, who you think would win a tie break, has lost the previous two nine Six points to seven. Two. And when you Six consider seven, that tight, uh, Todd Martin won the last two sets of his match in the tie break against Malibu Washington, he's now won four consecutive tie breaks. I mean, what are the odds of him winning five in a row? Well, you tell me. Thank you, everyone, right. please. I'm going to Edberg to win this one. That's the case we get a five setter. Zero. Well, again, the quality of the return to serve, which has been so magnificent right throughout, that Todd Martin gets him a mini break. It's been one of the great semi finals. Turn, had the opportunity for the pass on his favourite side. Three zero. first serve Thirteen double faults. Thirteen doubles to Edberg today. Prior to this afternoon, he'd only served twenty-two for the tournament. and through the air the ball looked like it was okay but he hit a little bit of inside out slice on it it was fading watch it on the reverse angle it looks good but it just fades wide of the line five one oh it's a long way back from here Alan, isn't it well just about impossible from here even for edberg like this Wait, please. Wait, please. 
White Blaze. White Blaze. White Blaze. White Blaze. There's a ball on the on the uh, on the court. Oh, he's going to continue to go for the uh, ground strokes. He's done it all the match. Yes, that's what's got him into a winning position, his ability to really return the serve so well. A couple of cheap points there to Edberg. Six, three, Martin. So it tightens up just a little. The fat lady got to the rostrum, but she hasn't cleared her throat yet. Well, he's got such a fine serve, you would expect that he would be able to, I think, clinch it on one of these two match points on his own serve. Oh, that's six. it. Oh. Oh. He's unlucky there with the net court. The pounds are a bit sweaty up. If can get out of this, he can get out of jail. Thank you, White Lakers. 6-1 to 6-4. Game set and match, Martin. Martin's in the battle. 3-6, 7-6, 7-6, 7-6.